If you're looking to learn how to use tools, I have a great way for you to learn. It's free and you'll just need a pair of cool boots and I got something to say about those coming right up. Knock knock. Who's there? Tool girl. A lot of the time people ask me where can I go to learn some basic uh, skills with power tools and I always tell them the same thing because it's free and it's really cool. What you do is you volunteer for a Habitat for Humanity build. They'll teach you everything you need to know and you get to actually help build a house. What What's the house thing about? Well, basically you're hand building a house for a partner family of Habitat for Humanities and then that family will pay a mortgage for 25 years on their handmade house that you help build. It's very rewarding. But the only thing you need is a pair of steel toed safety boots. Now usually they have extras when you volunteer to uh, work on a build but if you want your very own there's like a lot of boots in the world I'm just saying. These are some of my favorites that I've worn over the years. They're kind of hacked up some of them especially these but come on it's got fringe look at the little fringy boots and um, these are uh, paddock boots for like horse people uh, so they're really comfortable but I got a brand new pair I want to tell you about because they they've got a steel toe in them but you'd never know like they're really comfortable and I heard about these boots for like years and I never believed they were this comfortable but uh, they are first thing you'll notice is that they're uh, slip-ons so you don't have that whole lacing thing and they've got puncture proof soles and they've got this wonderful like um, amazing steel toe did you hear that that was the steel that's a good thing right oh I love that sound okay oh by the way Mythbusters did a thing because people say oh, but if something fell on me and then like the thing got squished and my toes would have to be amputated because people do say that but that's just a myth you can't do that the steel toes will help they will help if you drop something, um, even something sharp and sudden. Now, they always give you an extra footbed. Why is that? Because the ones that come in the boots are really flat. So you might find that you want to put in a thicker one. So they give you two sets. Uh, and also over time, the boot might become just a little bit uh, looser on you. So they give you that extra footbed. And uh, they're crazy comfortable. I've been wearing them around the house because I don't want to wreck them yet. I'm like that person who sleeps with their new shoes under their pillow. <laughs> And they're incredibly light, like strangely light, um, compared to these things, which are kind of like dragging um, concrete boots around, really, like they're caked in concrete is what they feel like. The little green patch means that CSA approved, so that you know that you've got uh, the correct footwear for a construction site. <laughs> If you have to have pink boots, you can go to moxytrades.com. That's where lovely Canadian entrepreneur named Marissa has pink boots for sale. Now, you might be wondering what a Habitat for Humanity build is like. Maybe you're a little nervous about it. Here's a little home movie so you'll, you can kind of see what it's like. And this was all women building, and boy, did they have a blast. Believe me, you don't need any skills. They'll teach you everything. If you want to learn how to use a, a chop saw or a circular saw, they'll say, hey, come on over here to this station. We'll teach you how. Uh, you'll be working on a crew with probably 10 or 15 other people. You might be putting up siding or doing drywall. You can learn basically how to build an entire house just for nothing, just for volunteering your time. We're going to build a house. This is my first time. I'm willing to try anything. The only experience I have building anything is IKEA furniture. Oh, yeah! Do